Hey guys, today we're going to see if we can push ourselves to the limits of what this M1 Pro chip can handle with Luna. Let's jump into it. We have Luna pulled up here and one of my subscribers asked if I could benchmark or test out Luna. They said, can you put 48 audio tracks, eight buses, load everything up with tape, summing, uh, and console. So that's exactly what we did. We have tape on all 48 audio tracks, console on all of these tracks. We are going over here. We see summing, ATR-102, bus compressors. The purpose for this is they want to see with the M1 Pro chip, can we push it really far so that they could use more CPU when they're mixing less DSP. This person only has the arrow, so they want to see how far they can push the computer without having to upgrade more hardware. So we can see right now we're at 35% render sitting idle. Let's hit play and see what happens. And FYI, you're not going to hear anything because um, the main track, since these are just signals and it's just like a sine wave, there's nothing to listen to, so I muted it so you don't get that annoying sound. So let's hit play and see what happens. Everything seems to be working here. We can scroll around. 54% render. 54%. And just so we can see that this stuff is working, let's grab these tracks here. We're going to pull the fader down. And let's see. There, our bus 8 has gone down. Bring it back. So we can see that it's working. Oh, you can't see that because my face is covering it. So let me just grab some of these. We can see that the signal is going down. But you, can, you can't see what's behind me in terms of the, the bus 8 going up and down. But you can generally see that things are adjusting. All right, so this is Darcy from the future. Uh, at this point in the video, I had this cool idea. I'm going to du duplicate all 48 tracks and we'll see what happens. And oh, the numbers were great. And I'm editing the video and I'm looking back and I realize I hadn't turned on all of the parts of the console within my session. So I've now brought Luna back up here. And you can see I've actually gone through and on all of these tracks on the, the, the sweep filter, the dynamics, um, oh, I forgot even still the gate here, and then the EQ, okay? Now, we can see that once I hit the gate, that render went through the roof. Gate uses a lot, okay? Let's go back, turn the gate back off, and things drop back down. So right now, what I'm basically going to say is that those 48 tracks is kind of your limit if you're turning everything on. So see here, here it's dropping back down as I'm talking to 34. So let me just hit play with the gate off and see what happens. It jumps up to about 75%. Okay. Now let's grab all these tracks again. And hopefully I don't kill my performance here while I'm recording. And also, let's see here. Uh, let me turn off Final Cut. That's running in the background. <laughs> so let me let me turn the gate back on. Jumps up to 82%. Let's see if that settles for a second. So if you're not familiar, the console actually does an effort. I'm just going to bring up a different view here so we can look at this all at once. So... When we look at uh, the console here, right? So on the left-hand side, right? So each one of these modules actually uses uh, CPU independently. When you turn one on, it will start using CPU. When you turn it off, it takes back that CPU and saves you the, 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 that processing. So it's not like when you turn this on, all three modules are, are being used every single time. So that being said, even though I'm maxing everything out, everything is turned on across all 48 tracks and the buses, that might not be true to your real life use case. What will likely happen, and my fans are starting to really kick up once I turn all those gates on. So let me go back here and turn them back off. So turn all my gates off, turn my compressors off, right? 
what's going to happen in real life is that you're going to actually apply these things more selectively. You're not going to turn all of them on across all of the tracks. Unlikely. You might put your sweep filters on pretty much everything. You're not going to compress everything. You're definitely not going to gate everything. And so that's something to keep in mind. If you're not using every feature of everything, you can push this really far. I think the overall lesson here or what we've learned from this is that we have a much higher headroom where you don't really have to think about what you, you know, how much space you have left in your CPU rendering. You can just start applying stuff if you're using the M1 Pro chip. Just just apply and kind of go to town. I don't think you're going to hit that limit unless you're maybe doing orchestral type stuff and you're really going to blow this up like crazy or you just got a big session and you love this extension you want to run it everywhere then you, you'll probably find your limits but regardless the ceiling has been raised it's just a matter of how you want to use it anyways hope you found this helpful if you did let me know if there's anything you want me to test in the m1 pro with luna let me know that as well and otherwise have yourself a good day peace